Yes, hello, uh, good morning. And uh, I would like to explain a little bit about the cash flow, but consider it about the kind, what kind of government that is, uh, uh, what for this, that is inclined to the cash flow of the, the tourism. This policy is uh, degradable by uh, constituents, constitutions, at least a monarchy, since uh, used by uh, Thailand. It's called uh, democratic, democratic monarchy kind of government. They have the king, and it's supported by European countries and the Chinese. China is Mo Maoism. Its policies is uh, about the propaganda of uh, monarchies. What is a monarchy? Uh, so it's uh, uh, exposed to the tourism industry. Monarchies is about about the king and queen that is uh, separately the government. About uh, uh, forty-eight, I think forty-eight to fifty plus uh, monarchies. That is uh, uh, helping Thailand to, de to develop its policies in uh, tourism, and it uploaded in intervals by its policies to the uh, convertible to the democratic kind of policies. And what is kind of uh, uh, what kind of government is good for the Philippines to? Uh, to incline to 80% of uh, tourism that can come to the Philippines for the high season that uh, it's in. It's about, it's different. Our kind of government is uh, democratic uh, and we are not uh, constitutionally inclined to other countries like uh, monarchies, Europeans, Australians, Chinese. Latin America and different kind of what we call this uh, companies that is like these policies in government uh, tourism policies like the Philippines. So uh, for uh, participating or uh, working in abroad in Thailand and uh, observing its policies is. Uh, constitutions and how they develop its uh, kind of uh, tourism industry that uh, boasts about 74 to 80 percent yearly. Uh, they can have a, they can make a money for uh, 15 to 18 billion for one day only for a year, event. So this is very boast because they are a monarch kind of government. And uh, I would like to explain a little bit about that, that they are monarchies. So a lot of them is uh, a lot of uh, companies like uh, Woodlands, uh, they develop uh, hotels for the country, for Thailand, in the early Switzerland. Switzerland is a kind of monarchy in uh, Europeans. In, so what is inclined to the Philippines? Inclined to the Philippines is uh, democratic parliamentary or parliamentary democratic front of the Philippines. That is good for the, the Philippines. And that is uh, that is very near to its policy as us as a uh, governing body for tourism industry. Not a democratic, not a, not a federalism. Federalism is only supported or secured by its policy by United Nations or United States of America. United Nations are, uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we call it uh, as, uh, as a propaganda. They are not uh, helping other nations, if uh, very clear to the United States. So I just want to say, a parliamentary democratic front of the Philippines is good and is reliable to develop for our country as inclined to its society as a tourism spot in general. Because now, nowadays, 
tourism must be our uh, our time our uh, time or what we call this our generation this is the last generation cash flow i'm thinking about uh, uh, substituting of uh, what kind of government is good revolutionary kind of government uh, socialism um, democratic kind of government and uh, monarchies is different to its approach because uh, Maoism is very near to us the Chinese uh, counter flow in Southeast East Asia is very high now nowadays uh, the tourism spot is very high in monarchies so if you want to nearby for our policies they must convert parliamentary kind of government President Duterte must incline or climb as a prime minister of our country and still have a voting session as a president because they still have a president and still have the senators and congressmen but we have to support for the policy of international monetary fund if it's, it's giving as a society for high degradable country as international law. Uh, this is topic uh, is intended to be uh, off for now and so what you tomorrow again.